in some consolation for his team's slide out of the promotion race when they qualified for Europe next season. The Swans took a 1-0 lead into last night's Welsh Cup semi-final against Barry Town and went through to the final with a hat-trick by Paul Rayner. 3-1 on the night, 4-1 on aggregate. Thoughts that the Swans would have an easy ride in last night's semi-final second leg were quickly shattered by Barry. Robbie James failed to cut out Ray John's free kick. Lee Bracey got caught in no man's land. Brendan Dowd said thank you very much. It was probably the jolt the Swans needed. Suddenly showing a more positive attitude, they quickly equalised to go ahead 2-1 on aggregate. Paul Rayner's first of the night. West got a touch to Coleman's cross and Rayner left defenders Ponton and McNeil for dead. But after an hour's play, Barry was still in with a shout. The Swans had not been able to increase their aggregate lead, and Barry went very close with Paul Evans' header. But that was their last chance. The Swans hit the Abacus Welsh League champions with two goals in 60 seconds. Colin West's pace set up the first of them, Rayner's second goal of the night. A bit untidy with Griffiths and Ponting giving Rayner two chances before he toe poked his shot past Sandman, but a killer goal. The 3 1 clincher was a sweet, fast, flowing move involving Lewis, Hutchison, and Coleman before Rayner celebrated his first ever hat trick in senior football. And he was entitled to milk the applause for all he could get. So, 3-1 on the night, 4-1 on aggregate. Barry's dream had ended. It's Swansea who'll go back into Europe. They're the only Welsh Cup finalists this year that you even recognise. And they'll know who they've got to play uh, later on tonight because Kidderminster take a 1-0 lead to Hereford in the other semi-final tonight. And so